Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the iFlight 6 D Mini F7 Twin G Stack. This 20 by 20 mm stack was specially designed to work with the DJI Air Unit. So today in this video I'm going to go over its features and specs and I plan to feature it soon on a build video. In terms of packaging, inside the box you can find the mini stack with its spacers and screws already pre-assembled. Both XT60 and XT30 battery connectors. The XT60 connector is pre-soldered to 9cm long 12 gauge battery leads and the XT30 battery connector is pre-soldered to 7cm long 18 gauge battery leads. In addition, you are also getting a 220 microfarad 35V capacitor, a bigger 470 microfarad 50V capacitor, a harness for connecting the 4-in-1 ESC and the flight controller, and another harness for connecting the flight controller with the DJI Air Unit. The weight of this mini stack is 15.9 grams and its outer dimensions are 31 by 29.8 by 11.2 millimeters. Both 4-in-1 ESC and flight controller are using 20 by 20 millimeters M3 mounting holes which are reduced to M2 using the pre-installed silicon dampers. The iFlight 6 d F7 mini stack is based on two components. The bottom board is a 40 ampere BLA32 4-in-1 ESC. It supports ESC telemetry and features a built-in current sensor. Just like the flight controller, you can power it up directly with up to 6S LiPo batteries. The soldering pads for the battery leads are pretty small and can be found both on the top side and the bottom side of the 4-in-1 ESC. The soldering pads for the motors, however, are pretty big and easy to work with and you can only find them on the top side of the 4-in-1 ESC. On its bottom side, you can find an 8-pin connector, so connecting the 4-in-1 ESC and the flight controller is done using this connector and the provided harness, which is a very elegant and reliable method. The second component of the stack is an F7 flight controller. It came pre-flashed with Betaflight 4.1.0 and its target firmware is EXF7 22 Duo. In addition, this flight controller, just like its bigger brother, has two onboard ICM2689 gyro chips. It has five free UART ports. And in order to match the USB Type-C connector of the DJI Air Unit, Instead of using a micro USB connector, it features a USB-C connector in order to save the trouble of carrying two cables and I think that the main advantage of having this connector is that it is less likely to break as it is more robust and the direction of plugging your cable is not important. The main highlight of the stack is a 6 pins connector which will allow you to easily connect a DJI Air unit using this provided harness. The L unit is going to be powered using 9 volts, so you can safely use 5 and 6S LiPo batteries. Here you can see the pinout of the DJI Air Unit connector. In case you are using the DJI Remote Controller and you would like to use the Ready Receiver option of the DJI Air Unit, you will need to enable Serial RX next to your one and in order to display the OSD data on your goggles, you will need to enable the MSP configuration on your two. Due to a lack of space, the soldering pads on the flight controller are not labeled, so I'm going to leave a link down below to this user manual so you can check it out. So overall, this stack looks pretty promising, and in case you own the DJI FEV digital system and you're looking for an elegant solution to hooking the DJI Air Unit to your flight controller, I think that you should definitely check it out, and I'm looking forward to see how it's going to perform when I'm going to feature it soon on a build video. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.